global professional IGP. Greetings from the Institute of Global Professional IGP. Thank you all for joining us and staying with us today. Honorable knowledge seeker, today I am your host for the evening. My name is Badhun Dash. I am from Bangladesh. Dear knowledge seeker, I am proud to be associated with IGP. IGP is a social and I certified international education and training institute. In last three years, we already served 55 million plus knowledge seeker from 100 plus country. IGP is internationally recognized and globally affiliated. We are connected to more than 450 plus profession and 4,500 plus organization. In Institute of Global Professional is an educational institute that provides social work globally recognized and reputable. We serve student and community resource providing holistic social work and education. We believe that it's not effective in case one is skill just by putting formal education. So we provide effective training and consultation to generate proficient generation all over the world. We distribute our services locally, nationally, internationally to students, job seekers, job holders, and also for learners, the respective campus location and distance learning platform. We are an occupational and dependable institute. IGP is one of the famous online institutes from all over the world. Our vision is education is not a business product, it's a part of our human rights. Based on our vision, we are trying to reach all corners of the world for free webinars, seminar courses, awards, quiz competition, mentoring, and counseling, etc. On the other side, we are also trying to offer more than 100 million services for free. Like they don't portfolio website, digital builder, power letter, motivation letter, and bar knowledge platform for better than young knowledge which can update all day. Kids learning game, website free course, converse sites, and many more. We help empower you to learn to meet their expectation and dream and become highly skilled people. We implement several training programs, webinar, and offer an online courses for you the learner, the professional, trainer, speaker, and coaches. Our session is conducted by Global Union Professionals to develop all kind of views and to promote the education of their abilities and personal speaking knowledge. Crucial for the Institute of Global Professional. We believe that knowledge is love and light and vision. So we try to understand the needs of today's generation and we'll serve them with good research and practice method. We must have a genuine concern for the learner who represent more diversity, growth, and innovation are required to lead a session with professionalism, passion, and integrity. IG members are committed to offering effective best quality service and continuous improvement so that individuals who seek information can improve their skill level and value. Before we move to the next, let me remind don't Forget to share, tag, and mention your friend in the comment box. Your support is very valuable for us. Thank you. Before we move to the next, let me remind don't forget to share, tag, and mention your friend in the comment box. Very valuable for us. Thank you. Moving to the next, share your content and support. We already completed 1,834 webinars successfully. Moving to the next, share your content and support. We already completed 1,835 webinars successfully. We are IGP speaker participant and will be sure at this moment this is a very important message for you all. We change and design our website www.eduigp.com. On this website, we have surprise for everyone. Hope you benefited. We already launched our new website where you can find all our previous activities together with lots of new features. But one strong point is that without an account or login, you cannot enjoy our service. So create your account for once with profile information. Note that with profile information, you'll enjoy all features with business data. You cannot do anything here. From now on, you have to participate in live course competition on our website. We replace that you have to join directly on our website. Now you can check all of our previous webinars with verified certificate. Now it's easier and time oriented because after the session, we will not provide you any code for certification. You have to take part in exam. After that, if you pass, you will receive your certificate. Otherwise, not. But you can take part in an exam unlimited till you pass. If you are an IGP speaker, you can download all your previous certificate, this speakership certificate. If you are a host of IGP, you can download a certificate of credit Europe. If you are an online lectures competition, you can download a certificate of participation. If you are selected for lifetime membership, then you can download a certificate of lifetime membership easily. Besides this, if you participate in an award function which organizes common support with IGP, you can download that also. You can actually prepare and download 18 different certificates from our website within a minute. Survey of global professional membership, survey of global influence is a pandemic, survey of active knowledge, survey of social activity is a pandemic, survey of achievement, RGP knowledge in 2020, 2021, and 2022, survey of participation, webinar series one, also being assessment in teaching learning, survey of participation, webinar series two, teaching as a front language and assessment, survey of participation, webinar series three, digital classroom engagement two, survey of participation, webinar series four, the new Trained in education, survey of participation, witnesses, five up skill also leadership and managerial skills, survey of participation, witnesses, research and comprehension, approach, survey of participation, witnesses, eight, art in digital special program in the arts, survey of participation, witnesses, nine, 21st century student teaching mathematics, survey of budget corporate ambassador, survey of budget campus ambassador, which even prepare and download within a minute. From now on, you can participate in 1000 plus international level courses with verified certificate, teaching tips for teacher, health tips for parents, health tips for teachers. Duplication tools for teacher. You can join IGP alumni. You can check out our plus services website for free and many more. 
they are IGP well wisher will promise previously but lake after the year problem when they're setting on time this is a great opportunity to calculate previous connection to solve for all issues from our website now you can enroll reset password everything and check your digital for all of your details this is a Korea latest to check all button and pages on our website you like and say you will benefit thank you but note that without an account or logged in you cannot enjoy our service at present we are going to start our 1836 webinar which name is effective classroom strategy lead to active and lively classroom and to our speaker Ma'am is Sada Tarsin. She is from Pakistan. Before I hand over this to our speaker, ma'am, I'll share a very little bit about her. Principal, teacher, trainer, and soft skill trainer, Mazan School, Bharia Town Campus. Now, very important moment for me to invite our speaker to IGP with her presentation. Now, very important moment for me to invite our speaker to IGP with her presentation. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? No. Yeah. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm good. I'm doing fine. Ma'am, this is you. You can study your presentation now. Okay. Thank you so much. So uh, today, uh, good evening, everyone. Today's topic is very important for the educators and especially for the needs and requirements of today's students. Because uh, as the world is evolving and moving on a phase phase, a speedy phase, so we also have to update our educators and the teaching methodologies along with that. So today's topic is effective classroom strategies lead to active and lively classroom. Uh, before moving forward, uh, let me ask you that how many of the of you in the um, in the participants and the ones who are who are watching us all across the world are in the field of education and please do share what you think is is an active and lively classroom up to you what do you think that what can be a significant statement for this classroom so what uh, the agenda we do have for today's program is about definitely the introduction, what is an active and lively classroom, how uh, we are going to find that things, how we are going to connect those things, and the benefits of active learning, effective classroom strategies, advantages of active learning, and barriers of active learning, which the educators definitely encounter and face every day in their classes. And most importantly, how this active learning strategies and the classrooms are going to be a statement of success for our students. So hopefully we're going to learn so many new things and the time would definitely help us to revise and to connect with different strategies that we do utilize in the classroom. So let's start topic uh, the to about the topic that is effective classroom strategies. Effective classroom strategies leading to an active and lively classroom. It is about the classroom and the student which are not being the teacher centered, which are the student centered classrooms where the students, they do feel the, the freedom to ask questions, to collaborate, to interact and to share their point of view. So we are here today to explore the dynamic world of teaching and learning. This is at the same time, this goes for the youth, for the students and for the educators as well. And this is basically to equip ourselves with the strategies that will definitely transform our classrooms into the vibrant hubs of education. So this, the whole concept of active and lively classrooms are bas is basically to change the, the way of teaching, the chair, to make the learning more interactive, more collaborative, and with the responsibility. So what is happening to today's world as the educational landscape is literally evolving rapidly. So it is essential for us as an educator to adopt and innovate, to innovate, to bring some innovation in the methodologies of your teaching. So we all share a common goal to inspire and engage our students. Every teacher around the corner in the world, they would love, they do love. Uh, they, they follow their passion, they follow their, they really love to inspire their students. But definitely with today's space, we have to update, adapt and innovate to bring innovation in our uh, teaching methodologies. And most importantly, we want our students to feel that love. We really, we really need to inculcate that love among our students that should be a lifelong learners. It should not be about that what is going to be taught at this in the, during the specific time in the classrooms. The students are bound to follow the teacher blindly with no opportunity of asking questions. And there is no other set pattern of the classroom. 
instead of the previous one or the traditional one. So we definitely want to uh, move forward, to go forward and to bring that um, connectivity. We, we need to be a bridge between our young student, the youth, today's child that is having a lot of technology, everything in their hands. So basically what we want, we want to embrace these uh, strategies that not only capture the attention of our students, but definitely it will encourage them to actively participate in their own education journey. So throughout this program, what we are going to do, we are definitely going to delve into the different approaches and techniques that have proven to make a significant impact on the student engagement, knowledge, retention, and overall classroom dynamism. Our goal is to empower you, empower you, all the educators around the world with the tools, with the specific positive tools and the knowledge that you need to create a lively and active classroom, a, a better positive learning environment in your classroom. That will definitely give you a sense of uh, security and sense of surety to be a part of uh, your student success uh, in their life. So. Uh, next, what we are going to have about it is about that what why we want to do that thing and how the things are going to work together. So we definitely going to explore that how the student centered learning classrooms and the flipped classrooms. These are the new methodologies that we are talking about. Definitely many of you are going to you are already using these methodologies in the classrooms. So the collaborative activities, integration of technology, it has become the need of the era now. So the innovative assessment, assessment should not be a traditional one. It should not be only about the memorization. It should be about with the different techniques and the set of patterns which the student, today's student is having that grasp and is uh, having that exposure to different levels of knowledge and information. So there should be an innovation in the assessment method as well, which is definitely going to revolutionize your teaching practices. Your students will feel more uh, interactive. They will feel more connected. They'll feel more responsible with the learning they are going to have in the classroom. So definitely it is going to increase the level of the responsibility on the, sh on the student as well as on the teacher. So by the end of this program, what we are going to do, being an educator, being a mentor, being a parent, being a student, you are going to get different patterns of tools for you. So definitely there will be a toolbox of strategies that definitely going to help you immediately. You are going to have a different set of tools and things that when you face any situation in the classroom that you, you haven't planned for that. So you need to think out of the box. Utilize those tools there and bring that positivity and connectivity in the classroom. So we'll talk about uh, later that how many different tools are there, how you can bring that connectivity, how would you uh, feel uh, elevated when you will you'll feel that or you will bring back that positive energy of the students in the classroom. So definitely we are going to start uh, talking about these uh, points that are really, really important in terms of getting to know about active learning classrooms. So before starting in detail, let's delve into the topic. What is an active learning? Active learning is not only that statement where a teacher used to uh, talk about for 30 to 35 minutes specifically about whatever he or she has planned for or whatever the, the roles of action he or she thought that they, he, he, uh, they can do in the classroom, they can implement or they can imposter. But what is the difference between that and how an active learning is going to work on the student? Active learning, the first significant uh, part is when your student feel the major part, the major center of attention of the classroom. When they feel that whatever is going to be displayed in the classroom or going to be taught in the classroom, that is particularly for your student. And your student's involvement and interaction and the questions are exactly important as you feel that being a teacher, it is your right to talk about the things. So what is happening when there is an active learning uh, environment in the classroom? Your students, they feel more motivated. They feel more involved and concentrated. They feel that they can show different levels of energy and fascination. They can be, they definitely will show you their eagerness to be the part of that discussion in the classroom. They'll definitely feel less distracted. They'll pay more attention to the details. They'll listen to you carefully. They'll keep trying, trying, and trying. And they'll definitely bounce back after difficulties. They'll definitely get back to you. They'll try to maintain their focus on whatever the activity of the time that you are doing. 
and most importantly it will increase or enhance their belief that a with little bit a bit more effort or hard work they can definitely approach the thing or they will definitely uh, going to conquer that part so this start after work first this trial is a realization then the sense of responsibility and then they start feeling uh, elevated they'll start feeling happy of, about their learning so they'll not wait for the time how the at, and what time the lesson is going to get it and end so they'll start enjoying your lessons they'll show their satisfaction and gratitude and gratification towards you You'll, they'll talk about the topic they'll be waiting for the next topic and they'll definitely give you a chance i'll, I'll give you a signal that, that they are waiting for the next meter so that is what apparently an active uh, learning classroom environment is all about when you come out of your classroom you are not lethargic you don't feel low you are as or even more energetic as compared to when you entered in the classroom it is all about the exchange of energy what level of energy you are taking with you inside the classroom that is going to be multiplied with the energy of your students so if you are prejudiced you are prejudicial about situations and the students that they are not going to do this thing or they'll definitely are going to behave as they used to behave in the previous classes it means that automatically your energy is going to transform and try uh, will connect with them to give them a negative wavelength a negative energy a negative feeling about that that your teacher does not accept you so we have to shift first this paradigm being an educator we need to shift from this paradigm to the other paradigm uh, as an innovative person, as a person who is a facilitator of their learning, not as a person who is a dictator or who is a person who is uh, who is going to control everything, control their learning. It is not about to control their learning. OK, so what we will get definitely you are going to pick any of your objective so what i would request you i'm going to talk about different levels of objectives for this particular topic so each one of you need to uh, pick three uh, minimum three uh, points uh, objectives for you that at, at the initial level when you will start implementing the active lively classrooms uh, in practical they'll definitely help you out and when you are starting with the simple objectives they'll definitely give you a lot of happiness and a lot of sense of accomplishment so what it happens what how we are going to get that and what is the objective that why uh, what we will get from these active and lively classrooms so this not only the students but we here i'm going to use the term of we because as an educator as an innovator as a mentor as a facilitator and a student we all are at the same level of inquiring of getting knowledge getting to know about the thing or enhancing our skills so we are going to explore different strategies that are going to promote active learning and participation next it will be the practical knowledge about student centered learning and its implementation it is not only about those theories and uh, strategies that are not possible in the classroom setup somebody can have 20 students somebody can have 40 and somebody can have 40 plus students in the classroom so it is uh, from a classroom to classroom it can it can vary but the one objective the simple objective that we when you will start as an educator as a facilitator definitely it is going to bring a big change positive change in the classrooms next we are going to definitely ponder into the topic how to facilitate collaborative learning environments to encourage peer interactions and problem solving here on this point your students either it is a small group of students or a large number of students they are going to be your facilitators they are going to be your your help in the classroom they'll try to take the responsibility of that and you'll feel more relaxed in the classroom setup another thing that we are going to talk about the different ways which are the effective ways to integrate technology as a tool for active learning by the way this is the most important thing and we are also working on this topic and this is definitely giving us amazing response from the students today is, a, uh, is an era of technology you cannot keep your child away from all of these gadgets but definitely here we do have the responsibility of making them aware about the positive and responsible use of technology in the classroom this can help a lot for
for our educators to be in in, in, a, in a better way. You can bring the audiovisual classrooms, you, uh, uh, audiovisual resources in the classroom. You can bring some smart interactive boards in the classroom that can help you in the way some of your students they are visual they, they are definitely going to uh, get 70 percent of their understanding by uh, watching some of the video that you have connected to your topic somebody is auditory so the students are going to get their satisfaction by listening all the basic information some are the ones who really want to do certain things so they want to get some experience so your smart interactive boards are going to help them a lot uh, to get satisfied for their learning so what uh, next we are going to have we as i talked earlier that we have to introduce some innovative uh, assessment methods other than that uh, uh, typical traditional memorizational method and we also have to address some challenges that as an as an educator and as a student your classroom may experience and then we have to measure the success and the impact of active learning strategies in the classroom we will definitely try to engage our students in the discussions and to share their experiences with others. And as an educator, this is your responsibility. If you are trying certain thing in the classroom and that is helping you out, that is multiplying your the impact of your uh, teaching in the students, definitely do share it with your other educators, other fellow beings as well. This is going to bring a circle. This the chain will definitely start. So it is going to help out each one of the individual who is in that particular safe setting or any of anywhere in the world. So what is an active classroom and how it can be beneficial for learning? So this is really important. As we talked about it, what are the objectives, what we are expecting from the active learning classrooms and what can be the challenges for the educators in the active learning classrooms? Let's talk about some of the benefits. So the number one benefit is about to enhance the student's engagement, your active learning environment and the classroom is the surety of a great number of student engagement. Active classrooms create an environment where the students are actively involved in learning processes. They feel a part of that learning process. They do not feel themselves as the passive learners. Uh, who do not have a right to interact or to ask questions or when they ask questions the topic is somewhere else so they feel bored or they feel not connected with that topic so active learning classrooms are the surety are giving you the surety to stay connected to to increase the enhancement and engagement of your students in the classroom second is the improved understanding and comprehension that the context of that, the conceptual learning, the, the practical learning strategies. So active learning strategies such as discussions, group work, problem solving activities, encourage students to apply what they have learned. So this is going to strengthen the, board of, uh, the bond of their learning with their practical implementation of that knowledge. So this hands-on approach helps them better understand and internalize this material, the concept, whatever they have um, they got to know, they got the information, then they analyzed, then they made the teams, they started to work in peers or groups or on some projects. And when they had that experience, they went through that experience, their learning is going to be compact and sound learning with them. So they are going, this is enriched learning now. So they will be active participants of that, uh, that topic or in a constructive way. Next, most important thing that I wish that uh, all of our educators should keep it as the first part to make them critical thinker and problem solvers. So these are two different domains. The first one is about the critical thinking and the other one is about the problem solving. Being a critical thinker, the student must be able to identify the issue, to identify the problem, the root cause. So there is another situation. Either our student can become the part of problem where they cannot see what is the solution, where they cannot see who is at, uh, you know, who is at mistake and who is not doing it correctly. They, they remain the part of the problem. So during the time you, you keep yourself connected with the problem, you feel helpless and you are just having one tunnel vision that you cannot see any other thing. So your critical thinking helps you out to elevate yourself from the level of the problem. It puts you at the higher level. 
where you become uh, a visitor, uh, an invigilator, where you become a spectator, where you can see the things from the one step above. So you are no more the part of a problem. Then you become a part of a solution. You start to find ways how to bring solution to your problem. You think positively, you think critically, you try to act like a person who is going to solve the things. So you are not reactive now. You are actively trying to find the solution. So that's a one approach. This is what 100 times in a day we, every teacher who goes to the class, they do find this thing. They do find the situation in the classroom. Instead of every time making them feel that, OK, your teacher is going to solve the problem, your mothers are going to solve the problem, or go to that person, they are going to, why not to ask them or to involve them into the solution? Why not to ask them, make them sit comfortably and ask that what sort of solutions you want? Let's think, is it possible? Can we do that? What you can do? What is your part? Believe me, every type of problem. It starts to solve the moment your student, you yourself, feel ready to in, uh, to counter that, to face that. So next is the problem solving skills. The so problem solving skills, again, they are connected as well. So these skills are essential for the success, both in the education and in the personal life as well. This is the most important perspective, by the way, I do feel. Uh, next, we can have the enhanced communication skills. This is, again, an important point. Collaborative activities and discussions in an active classroom require students to communicate their ideas effectively. Number of times it happens when the students they do have the ideas, a lot of ideas, but they are not able to communicate properly. They feel lack of words, they feel lack of uh, expression. And then at the end, but they feel, OK, I am not going to share this idea. So they never take that courage to express themselves or to take part into the, that group discussion. So these active, lively classrooms help every individual student of your classroom to take part and to be the part of that active classroom. His or her learning becomes active learning. His or her learning becomes involved and responsible learning along with that. So the communication skills definitely they enhance when they learn to articulate their thoughts, listen to their peers, and engage in meaningful dialogues. When they know that the communication skills are really, really valuable, and they start working to enhance them, they start doing that practice every day. Next, we have the increased motivation and confidence. So once your students know what is the problem, they know that they can be become a part of a solution. They know they can, they can find a problem a solution as well. It also starts a positive impact in their brains, in their body. Their tonality is going to be changed. And when they feel that the communication skills are getting better, they can better understand or listen somebody, or they can better express themselves what they actually feel, it is definitely going to increase their confidence level, which is the first key towards success. So again, active learning classrooms can accommodate different learning styles and places. What I feel that it, the active learning classroom is basically the classroom that really helps different levels of different types of learners in the classroom. Because when you, as an educator, uh, make a plan for your classroom, you are not only going to consider first level or beginner or inter intermediate or advanced level of learners. You have to keep that energy and that keep that connectivity and pace between all these three factors. Again, as I talked about, some, of, some are the visual, some are the kinesthetic, or some are the auditory. So when you plan your lesson as an active learning classroom, it is going to satisfy the need uh, of every type of learner, and hopefully. Okay. Next is what that these active real classrooms, lively classrooms, are actually making our students prepare for the real life world, to face that world, to connect with the world, to interact with the world positively, confidently, with the critical thinking, with the equipment. These are the tools. They are critical thinkers. They are the problem solvers. They can take themselves out from that piece of problem, and they can become a piece of solution. They can think pro uh, critically. They can be a good part of, the, of that part. And they can become a good addition to the real world. They can be their healers as well. So what it is happening, this is all, what, as I talked earlier, that we want a lifelong learner. It should not only be to the particular grades. 
okay till this grade the education the system of education connectivity of education is done we don't need these type of learners or students in the coming future or for this generation we are not expecting that we really want them to be lifelong learners so all of these traits are going to link uh, with each other so strongly that we, they can be, make a chain a chain that can help them to become a good person in their not the academic part but in their personal emotional spiritual and socio emotional as well all of these strategies do help the students a lot when they feel that they whatever they have learned they accomplish that with the sense of uh, accomplishment and confidence so again active learning framework is all interlinked the step one can be a goal a vision whatever the the clear vision that we have in our mind and then the plan to uh, achieve that goal in an active mode of learning then whatever the resources and context we are going to use the implementation of that active learning if your student you have taught your students how to measure or about the angles your student must be able after that lesson to find or to measure the angle of any other thing and they can create different things from them they can start talking about these angles and these shape uh, from uh, the from their classroom within their classroom about the school about their bags about their copies about their about the boards classroom boards about each and everything so this is about the implementation of active learning that they feel that okay this these things are been made because of this particular concept then the evaluation of active learning whatever they are doing either it is good uh, either it is connected with the learning objective revision of the things definitely we are um, we follow the curriculums so we are bound to different curriculums but your curriculum never never uh restrict an educator from experimenting and from uh, implementation of active learning this is everywhere it is welcomed so next we talk about that our community is going to get enhanced from uh, like uh, different critical thinkers are going to be the part of that so instead of uh, complaining complaining uh, they can become they can bring uh, different solutions on the table as well so the engagement of society and the industry with the new resources with the new opportunities definitely will involve and the promotion of innovation and sustainability in education and society is basically the point of concern for which we are working on the active learning classrooms so what is the effective classroom strategies how can we make our classrooms active how can we bring that active and positive involvement and engagement in our classrooms i hope a number of the, the the educators around the corner they always try their best to bring that energy and to bring that positivity and connectivity in their classroom let's just go through some of the points to uh, to add some tools in our uh, toolbox for the classrooms uh, the first one again is the student centered learning uh you, the classroom if it is a teacher centered classroom uh during that time it cannot be an active learning classroom when an active learning classroom happens when your students freely actively participate they, they, they feel that they are also the part of that explanatory time as well when the students some of the topics are definitely other ones where you need to explain the things but again at the time you can involve it is up to the educator to involve the students so the student centered learning classrooms are basically the, the this is what the process it starts the process of active learning in the classrooms they engage the students at the number of level and their interest to the subject matter it starts from there and it enhances from there with the sense of responsibility so they start taking the responsibility of their learning collaboration our students they start to work in groups it helps them uh, you know to adopt the most important uh, what i feel um, that is empathy they start feeling empathetic about each other so it is going to they are going to work in pairs in teams fostering peer to peer interactions and cooperative learning it is going to it is going to surely increase their communication level as their the self confidence and the way they are going to work in teams as well specifically after the school in their real life as real life 
So they become critical thinkers. They also try to find the problem solving situations. Your classroom becomes more interactive. You can have debates, discussions, active participation in the classroom. You can have different role plays. You can um, assign some roles in the classroom to the students. They can portray that. They can uh, l they can share the, whatever the observation they do have in their life. Or what do they think um, or what perspective they have perceived about that particular character or the responsibilities or that particular thing. So the flexibility first, the flexibility level starts from the educator. If we are strict, if we are not flexible in our teaching methodologies, definitely it is going to reflect in our teaching methodology, in our explanatory time in the classroom. That is surely let our students feel that how much they do have the part in that particular learning time whether they, how much part they are responsible for the students they always feel themselves responsible once they feel that they were the active member of that discussion and explanation that fills them with a sense of uh, achievement accomplishment sense of satisfaction and it also enhances their it also uh, uh, incredibly adds different value to their personality grooming as well. So use of technology again is one of the most important thing in today's world. It often integrated into the learning processes to enhance engagement and facilitate to more interactive and dynamic learning. But as I uh, uh, discussed earlier, that this can help, a, uh, help an educator and a teacher as well. Uh, you can bring audios, you can bring videos, you can bring some interactive learning uh, resources in the classroom that are going to make your lesson more interesting, more involved and engaged, and also to fulfill the, your students' needs as well. Assessment method must go beyond the traditional tests of memorization if they can be projects they can be presentations they can be uh, in terms of any performances they can be surveys they can be project making they can be uh, any of their observation it can be in any of the form so this is my humble request to each in, uh, educator and uh, teacher innovator facilitator and mentor across the world to please change bring innovation, bring flexibility, creativity in your assessment method. Be a critical person for your assessment. What assessment, what level of power that being an assessor you want to assess in your kid? It is, is, it, is it only about memorization? If, for example, you are going to assess a child about that level of memorization, how much it is going to be beneficial for that child's learning? So the child must feel a part of that learning as well. They, will, they should feel that they are equally responsible for that lesson, for that 35 to 40 minute lesson. So uh, the next is advantages of active learning strategies. As we talked earlier, there are different, different points that are really helpful in all of the situation. So students, they get enhanced uh, engagement, improved knowledge retention, higher level thinking skills, better understanding of concepts, improved communication, preparation of real. Again, everything is interconnected. Whatever we have set in the objectives, you are going to get it into the benefits. Once you're going to be an educator, you're going to write down your, uh, your reflection of your lesson. You will be a successful person at that time when your objective, objectives are met in your, in your reflections, in your wrap-up activities. You feel that your child is uh, critical. You feel that your child becomes a part of solution. You feel that your child uh, uh, is as responsible for the learning and for the knowledge. You feel that your child is ready or is enhanced or has grasped different level of communications. He is being more, uh, more expressive. And they are becoming, they are sharing different levels of their understanding about different topics. So this is what you have achieved a very important component and part of basic fundamental point of your active learning classrooms. In one another point in your assessment, you can make them peer assessors as well. You can have different level of assessments there. It can be an online quiz. It can be about observation. It can be about a group discussion or a performance, anything like that. So and always most importantly is that that immediate feedback. 
which I feel that number of teachers, number of educators, they do miss this important point. Once your child completes their work, they put extra time to make it presentable. They put extra energy. They sacrifice their, their, their uh, free time. They are trying everything to make you feel happy or to impress you or to show whatever the talent and the thing they do have. Right. So this is most important point in their lives. So better to give them immediate feedback and it must be a positive one by addressing everything. It should not only be critical. So uh, the students, they should receive immediate feedback once they submit any of their form. It can be a notebook. It can be a research work. It can be any of their project. So this is really important. I feel that being an educator, this uh, is also our great responsibility to uh, work on this. I, I do call it as an ethic. It is our obligation, it is our responsibility to instill some uh, valuable uh, insights or some valuable feelings among our students. That is what your feedback is going to do that. So uh, your students, we, they do not feel passive part of their classroom, but they feel the active part of their classroom. They start taking the sense of responsibility from their learning. Now we are going to shift to the another paradigm that is barriers of active listening or active classrooms. What happens in the classroom once you are in that, you have set that classroom. So to control that classroom, to maintain the discipline in the classroom, to sometimes cover the topic within the time, to sometimes bring them back from discussion to the written task. It can be a challenge and, and is surely a challenge for an educator. But here we have to use our magical points, our magical tools. So let's talk about some of the barriers that uh, we can encounter. It can be uh, you know, the lack of interest, students or the teacher, they can become predetermined different levels of uh, um, ideas can encounter. They can be some of the situations that can lead uh, the students and the center of the class away from the topic, or it can hurt some of the beliefs. But here, being an educator, we must have a proper grip of the classroom. These barriers can resist to change. They are the ones that uh, do not let us being an educator or student experience this wonderful active learning classroom. But once you uh, preparedly and you are equipped with all of the things, all of the necessary tools, and you once you dive into that thing, you really try, you really enjoy that. And after experiencing that amazement, you never come back to the traditional and old uh, classrooms. So the uh, the educators, students, and the, every school institutions, we should adopt this change. And that is not a one day story. We have to work as an educator, as teachers, we have to work on that and keep working on that. Then we have the time constraints. As I told that uh, we do get the curriculums, it has to be completed these topics, the particular topics and the book parts, how they have to be completed within the particular time period. So again, I would say that we can control the classrooms. You can decide that what part you can go with that thing and the other part you can make them uh, a choice. You can. Uh, let them work in the groups. So this is all about the lesson plan a teacher is going to make. It is again about the class sizes. If you have a large class size, definitely it will be a challenging thing, but not impossible. As impossible says, I am possible. It can be a challenging at the bigger level, but it can also be addressed by talking to your uh, higher management and by uh, segregating the classes or seeking help from any uh, any of the person from your department, this, this can definitely be helpful thing it in, can be addressed. Lack of resources. Some of the schools, institutions did not provide particular resources to the teachers. Like we talked about the, um, the technology, use of technology in the classrooms. Then it can be discussed and you can forward your, your suggestions and the benefit or use of your suggestions to, the, uh, to your head uh, management that can definitely help a lot. Then we have the assessment challenges. We have particular time periods where we want to assess the students. And again, the same traditional patterns of assessment. Again, I would say this is not a one day thing. This is not going to happen within a week or within a month. We as an educator, once we do feel we do taste this food, we definitely do not want to go back. It 
brings a lot of challenge. It, it has to be with a lot of energy and responsibility as well. But we have to, as together as a team, we have to work on that. We and we can have sessions. We can work. We can set a standard classroom of a lively active classroom in a school, and we can uh, invite our, our, our administrators and our coaches and our heads to come and observe that classroom and to uh, ask them to provide their valuable feedback. This can definitely and uh, surely in future can help you out to bring more resources from your classrooms. So we have the faculty trainings. This is more important. Educators all across the world, they need the training to effectively design and implement active learning in the classrooms. So today's world, it is literally, it has some of the, the distances. Like IGP has provided us this platform. From all across the world, if they are providing you the free resources of learning together, it is learning and growing together. There are a number of other platforms. There is a lot of information, a lot of practical information. Also, um, on just a tip away, on a click away, uh, better to be a part of a learner and a lifelong learner as a teacher as well. So we can address all of these issues. Classroom management, again, if you have large number of students, large classroom sizes, um, it can be challenging. But again, you know your strengths as a teacher. You know your students well. And uh, you can limit it from every day to uh, multiple times in a, in a week. And um, gradually, your students will become the part of that. They will start enjoying and analyzing that which class they, they feel really uh, active and they enjoy that part. So they start following that pattern. They start doing those things. They start completing the task on their time. Again, the curriculum alignment is really a major part in active learning. It can maybe it cannot be aligned with that the standard circle or the educational objectives, but it is um, it is a challenge. But it is a challenge that can be achieved. And the only person who can uh, practically showcase that that is the one who is going to set this active learning classroom in the uh, in the school environment with the other educator or to share their success story with the other educators how they have uh, they have maintained they have addressed the challenging behaviors during the activity classrooms how the active classroom environment has helped the the the, uh, the low grade students the students who are finding difficulties in learning or the ones uh, who really do not have that or lack of interest they try they feel more involved and more engaged in those activities so it become it can become an amazing thing for your student as an educator as well so after all of these points what actually we want let's connect to the part that we really want that our students must be they they should be successful in their life not only academic but in their personal emotional spiritual and socio emotional as well so how do we go? How do we are going to measure the success criteria for active lively, lively classrooms? How we will, we are going to find out or evaluate that these classrooms, these methodologies, are helping our students a lot. Assessment of students' performance, compare student performance. For example, their test scores, their grades, project outcomes, uh, uh, the their participation in the role plays or in extracurricular activities before this setup and after the implementation of active learning and showcase that keep the record of that this will believe me the one thing that helps you allow helps helps you a lot this is going to to talk about this is going to really really make a noise in your institute about what you are going what you have accomplished so keep the record of what your students performance was before uh, these classes and what is there after the, these classes how much challenging behaviors uh, have been addressed automatically how many students have improved so and do share what methodologies you have used engagement and participation this is you are going to love with that you're going to fall in love with that observe and document the student engagement during the class activities you can make a film you can make a video of your classroom activities which can be a lively proof which can be a real proof to the other educators and to the current administrations about to witness what happens and what fruit it is going to bring into the learning process of your students. Feedback and reflection. 
again i would say being a teacher it is your important it is your obligation it is a responsibility on you to provide an immediate feedback that must be a constructive one it should be positive it should be encouraging but it should also be a constructive one to highlight the points where you really want your student to work on that so collect the feedback even from your students through their surveys their interviews or focused games or groups to understand their perception about the active learning that before the traditional way of the learning classrooms and the active learning classrooms and also ask them to provide the reasons and logics about their answers this can surely help you a lot so formative assessment a formative assessment is again very important formative assessment techniques like quizzes quick scrolls polls during class to get the students understanding is really important and they can help you a lot they take less time less energy but give a valuable feedback about the students learning output to the educator peer assessment it is amazing i really enjoy it a lot encourage peer assessment and self assessment where students evaluate the contributions and team of work of their peers in the group activities and they also become their self critic they start taking the responsibility of their mistakes as well they start learning from their mistakes and instead of that that somebody else has to point out about those areas of improvement they start working on them on their own so this is really going to help them a lot and it it is going to make them not as a part of a problem but as a part of solution which eventually we want and the project and the presentation evaluation excesses the quality and the depth of students understanding conceptual skills their presentations their collaborative work to determine the ability to apply knowledge implementation of knowledge implementation of knowledge practicality of the knowledge use of knowledge so how much it is useful for them so all of these things are really really helpful i hope and uh, i hope that you all have made your objectives you have uh, uh but uh, mm, i i think so that you have gained some very important points if you are already in the process of continuing with your active learning hats off to you uh keep doing this amazing work keep shining the classrooms keep inspiring your students and if you were reluctant before the time please i would advise and i would definitely uh share my insight here you should uh, do one experiment of that you would you'll fell in love with that so thank you so much uh, everyone being the part of this uh, amazing uh, session today thank you so much ig for uh, letting me share my insight and my thoughts on this program on this particular topic and um, thank you ig for providing such platform where we can share share learn and grow together thank you so much Thank you so much, ma'am, for your rich content presentation, which can impact our knowledge seekers surely. After your presentation, I hope our knowledge seeker can learn something new, which was our only intention. Learn and grow together, IGP knowledge seeker. Once again, thank you so much, ma'am, for your presentation. Now, ma'am, it's time for our question and answer session, which is the one more valuable part of our regular webinar. Honorable ma'am, please stay with us. After a short video, we will back in our session part two, which is the question and answer part. Dear IGP knowledge seeker, please ask your question in the comment box as much as you want to know. From our speaker, thank you. After question answer, we have a webinar certification and online quiz competition. Dear IGP knowledge seeker, please ask your question in the comment box as much as you want to know. From our speaker, thank you. After question answer, we have a webinar certification and online quiz competition.
participant they are rajip in our speaker please ask your question in the comment box as much as you want to do from our speaker thank you after question answer we have an webinar certification and online quiz competition they are rajip in our speaker please ask your question in the comment box as much as you want to know from our speaker thank you after question answer we have an webinar certification and online quiz competition I think after a wonderful presentation, our participant can understand. There's why no questions from our participants. So once again, thank you so much, ma'am, for your time in IGP. We have learned a lot from you with new topic. It will add some value to our day-to-day -day activity along with our academic and professional growth. Honorable ma'am, hope to see you again with a new topic and a new day. Thank you, ma'am. Take care. Thank you so much. Honorable ma'am, before we move to the next, if you want to leave this study, you can. They are IGP knowledge seeker. It's time for the webinar certification process, the most attractive and powerful part of our regular webinar. After a short video, we will start our webinar certification. After webinar certification, we have an online quiz competition and quiz certification. They are IGP knowledge seeker. It's time for the webinar certification process, the most attractive and powerful part of our regular webinar. After a short video, we will start our webinar certification. After webinar certification, we have an online quiz competition and quiz certification. Process. Visit www.edoigp.com. Please make sure your presence on our website. Find a learning session and get enrolled. After watching, combining part one, move to the next with the learning test. Demand 80%. If pass back to the course again to download your certificate, you fail to retake the quiz. Download your certificate in PDF or JPG. For your attention, I'm going to share the procedure again. Visit www.edoigp.com. Please make sure your presence on our website. Find a learning session and get enrolled. After watching, combining part one, move to the next with the learning test. Passing marks 80%. If pass. 
back to the course again to download your certificate if you want to retake the course download your certificate in pdf or gpt there is a knowledge is time for the web most engaging part of this webinar which is an online quiz competition which is our regular webinar activity now time for the online quiz competition to join the online quiz competition properly please follow my instruction carefully now time for the online quiz competition to join the online quiz competition properly please follow my instruction carefully we have changed a few process on our online competition note that after live no one can participate participation process visit www .com and sign up or sign in without this you cannot enjoy our live quiz competition browse the live quiz button i'll give a link find the session name and jo join with your logged website or user account click join and wait for a few minutes to allow to join and you're an online great quiz competition after the quiz we will issue certificate for top rate as previously which you can find on our official facebook page and group institute of global professional after a short video we will start our quiz session Our first question is what will lead to an effective producer in classroom? Is it option one or option two? Our next question is what is one strategy of setting up an effective classroom discipline structure? Is it option one or option two? Option one is the right answer. Twenty-one percent people are right here. Our next question is: Effective teacher have arrived and did not do continual improve classroom strategy. Is it true or false? Option one, two is the right answer. Hundred percent people are right here. Our next question is: Effective instruction strategy applied to distance learning as in the regular classroom is it true or false? Option one is the right answer. Ninety-four percent people are right here. Our next question is: Positive teacher-student relationship 
make it easier to implement effective classroom management strategies is it true or false <coughs> Option one is the right answer. Hundred percent people are right here. Our next question is strategy that sometimes lead to an effective solution and sometimes do not. Is it option one or option two? Option one is the right answer. Fifty percent people are right here. Our next question is a range of strategy that teacher can use to support effective classroom discussions. Is it option one or option two? Option two is the right answer. Hundred percent people are right here. Our next question is: When it comes to classroom, different strategies can be effective. Is it option one or option two? Argo, nasta ki hai ve? Isko khabana? Chart for the books, sir. Option two is the right answer. Seventy-one percent people are right here. Our next question is: What are some effective strategies to create a safe and supportive classroom environment that foster emotional de development? Is it option one or option two? Option two is the right answer. Seventy-nine percent people are right here. Our last and final question of the session is: Use effective verbal and non-verbal classroom communication so to support learner understanding participation. Is it option one or option two? Option two is the right answer. Forty-one percent people are right here. Congratulations to our online quiz competition winner, top ten. Congratulations again. We will take a few minutes for finalizing the result. After that, we will issue our online quiz competition certificate on our official Facebook page and group Institute of Global Professional. Congratulations to our online quiz competition winner, top ten. Congratulations again. We will take a few minutes for finalizing the result. After that, we will issue our online quiz competition certificate on our official Facebook page and group Institute of Global Professional. Congratulations to our online quiz competition winner, top ten. Congratulations again. We will take a few minutes for finalizing the result. After that, we will issue our online quiz competition certificate on official Facebook page and group Institute of Global Professional. At the end of our session, we can say properly feed your skill. Never stop learning. Cause life never stop teaching us. Be happy, stay safe. See you again and again. We want your participation in every program. If you want to live a happy life, try to go learn about all things. Albert Einstein. If you want to say, hit the bell button. I want to thank. All IGP knowledge seeker for your active participation as always. See you again in the next session. Thank you.